Here I'm going to show you how to format data that you have in Excel. Now I'm going to show you how to use the left, the right, and the mid function in Excel. So what those do is, for example, I'm going to show you, I have a list of information about employees here in one column. And each row is a different employee containing four different part pieces of information about them. And I want each piece of that information to automatically go into these four columns here. So I want to break it up. So I have to use the left, right, and the mid formula to do that. Now I could type it out by hand, but it would take forever, especially if you have a lot of data. And uh, an example of when you would use this is say you're in a company and you have employees sending you information in an aggregated format, such as the column on the left here, but you need to break it down and uh, format it so it either looks a little better or so that you can then do separate analysis on it. Now let's go ahead and start with the number column. I want to get this employee number here on the left and bring it over here. So what I do is equals left open parentheses. Now the function left simply means start counting from the left of the cell and the number I want on the left. So now I need to enter the text or the cell where the text is that I want. So I'm going to click cell, then comma. How many characters do you want to pull in? So I'm starting on the left. I count the number and see that I have there are seven characters in every number. So seven, close parentheses. So I have equals left the cell reference where I want to get the data from and the number of characters that I want to pull in from that cell and I want to pull in seven characters so enter and you'll notice that I pulled in the correct number 003439 and that's exactly what's over here so now I'm just going to copy that down and it pulls in all of the numbers very nicely the next thing I'm going to do is go to the far right side and show you how to get the corporate credit card information. Now that is simply equals right open parentheses and I'm using the function right because what I want is on the far right side of the cell. I want to get either the Y or the N for yes or no. So once again I click the cell where I want to get the data from then comma then how many characters do I want to pull in just one, close parentheses, enter. I'm going to go ahead and copy that down. And it fills everything in. Now, the last function I'm going to show you how to use is the mid function. So that's for the benefits plan and the region. The mid function is just like it sounds. It allows you to pull data or allows you to pull text and numbers from the middle of a string. So the middle of this over here. You use that by just doing equals mid mid open parentheses. Then what you want to do here is select the cell where you want to get the data from, comma. Now here it's a little bit different. In order to get a middle, the text from the middle, you choose the number that it starts on. So I want to get the start number for the benefits plan. So I count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The text that I want starts on the ninth character. And you do include commas, so a comma counts. So it's the ninth character, so I type in 9. Then comma, the number of characters. I only want to pull in one character here. So 1. Close parentheses, enter. And it pulls in A from the cell over here copy it down and it's pulled in the correct numbers A, B and then A, B, C and it pulled it in right from here. The last thing I want to do is the region and once again that's going to be the mid function equals mid open parentheses the cell that I want to get it from comma the start number and the start number here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
So in the first cell, the C1, the C starts at 11. So I type in 11, comma, number of characters here is 2. Close parentheses. So I have the cell reference. I have the number of characters in that the text starts and how many characters. Enter. Then I'm just going to copy that down. So now I have all of this data from one column very quickly broken up into four separate columns. And um, now if you do this often it's a very good idea to make a very simple macro that will simply fill in everything for you immediately. Additionally though, this can be kind of confusing, especially if, you just, if you're just if you just watching it for the first time, but uh, it's a very good idea. Just get some test data and try it out on your own because it's not that hard and once you've done it a few times, it becomes increasingly more easy. So that's how you can use the left, the right, and the mid function in Excel.